welcome back to my channel today i have a day off from work so the plan at the moment is to have kind of a writing morning and see how much i can get through kind of took some time off mostly to chill i need to remember that part of this is to chill but also to try and sort of catch up with the month and just try and do some creative stuff for a day partly maybe seeing what it would be like if i could somehow manage to make this a regular sort of day that i could take Every quarter or something just to really put my head down and get a bunch of stuff done so you will have seen in the clips earlier i've had myself some coffee i have planned out my day i've changed up the way that i plan the days out normally i would do kind of a here's what i want to do to do list thing what i've started doing as well is adding in like the times and then like the planned what i want to do and then allowing an actual column there's a couple of personal things on there now for the afternoon so i'm not going to show the actual plan the idea is that it allows me to see what am i planning to do how long am i planning things take and then how much actually do they take we started this morning on about 80k for the book if you've watched any of the earlier videos we are doing what is essentially down as a second draft of my Space Pirates uh, book one in my series. I had a previous draft of this book, but I completely threw it out a window and started again. So that's where we are. I started it in NaNoWriMo in November, and I really kind of hoped that I'd have it done by January, but we are still going. It is likely to go into March now as well, because it is currently the 20th of February. I have written like two or three times. I think this is the third day this month I've written anything. I did very little in January, so we're not going to go into why or berate ourselves, Nikki. But I did have a really good day on Saturday, which was two days ago. I did three 25 minute sprints and all of them were like 53 or 55 words per minute. I shot through a bunch of stuff. We are getting into very much the finale now. And I think I said maybe on the last vlog, I'd had a bit of a breakthrough for what I wanted it to be. So everything is fully outlined and we're just working our way through stuff now. We've all the post-its have not been updated and most of them are starting to fall off. So <laughs> that may not last as a concept. It was a nice idea, but uh, hasn't worked too well for me. My current estimates per chapter is still about 120k for this book. So we have about another 40k left. A little bit less than that because I have done two sprints already this morning. Not at a massively high words per minute, but uh, not too shabby. So I've done about 2,000 words this morning in those two sprints. The aim, ideally, is to get four Space Pirate sprints done and then move over to my romance book if my head needs a break. If I think I can hold off and do more Space Pirates, I will. That is the priority. But the idea is I can shake it up a little bit between that and my romance book so I still feel like I'm writing which was also supposed to be done in January and it's now February and it's likely to look like it's going to be March which means that if I finish these books in March April camp will be starting new stuff which wasn't the point it was supposed to be finishing off stuff so, uh, a couple of other small updates I have a new chair which does not squeak every time I move it does have a little bit still of like a uh, a noise but nowhere near as bad and much better for my back. One of the reasons why you've got a timer video the last few weeks is that last week my back had a really bad sort of episode so we went for ease rather than creativity at that point but I'm back it's feeling much better and I just need to carry on and get on with stuff because this afternoon my hope is that I can have enough time to start some seedlings. I won't show you the garden at the moment because we're still working it through but we have bought ourselves uh, a raised bed. So if you were watching the vlogs last summer at all, um, or into autumn, you may have seen me sort of go out occasionally and do what I referred to as seed watch, <laughs> where I went out and watered some planters we had outside. We've added a few more and a raised bed that we're gonna try and grow some vegetables in this year. So I need to get kick off some seedlings somewhat soon, some of them. Some of them definitely won't said February, some of them said March, and I don't know if I'm just impatient. <laughs> But I kind of want to start seedling them because I don't know how well it will grow in our house because we only really have one good window to be out by the, the sun and I don't know how hot it's going to be and like warm enough. I don't know if it's going to be warm enough for them to grow but it's been about an hour and a half since I started writing. I was hoping to have two spoons done in the first hour. Maybe being a bit harsh on myself. Especially if the ones I'm doing are actually 25 minutes. So if I get three 25 minute spoons done um. I only need five minutes to get the full 80 minutes for the four 20 sprints I wanted. Does that make sense? I think my maths is right. I don't know if I 
articulated that well. And then see how we go. I want to be finished for writing about half twelve, which is it's got to be half nine, so three hours away. So that's still plenty of time, but I just want to be done with this drama now. When I was writing on Saturday, I had a lot of like really good moments. I have this one particular scene that's been with me for a long time because I do say this is number two of the drafts. Um, this is number two of the like official drafts, if you want to say. I did a zero draft before that, but actually that draft was like the second maybe third time I'd attempted to start writing this book. They'd always been so rubbish, so rubbish. I've been writing this book for I want to say like five or six years. I can't entirely remember. <laughs> this scene has been in all of the books but in most of them it's been this kind of throwaway moment where she uses some magic on one of the people that she's kind of allying herself with and in most cases it's just been yeah People use that magic, it's fine. It just shows that she's caring a little bit about these people, which she wasn't doing in the earlier part of the book. Fine, we move on. <laughs> it wasn't a big moment. Whereas now it is that moment of actually she's worrying more about someone else's point of view than her own. But also in the rest of this book, we've kind of built up that this particular magic is associated with the person that they are trying to get around or uh, murder and while the magic is not inherently evil and the magic is not inherently bad that's the only that's the real association we've had this whole book and then she has to use it to help this person so very interesting it was much much more of a moment i think what's happened over the the time that my back was playing up and uh the weekend i did a lot of reading a lot more reading than i normally do i finished i finished like four books this month uh, which is unusual for me. I've done a lot of sort of sit sitting down and reading for long stints, mostly because my partner um, bought Elden Ring for themselves last weekend. And you know that stereotype of uh, one part of being a gamer and one part of being a reader? The joy I've had of sitting downstairs while they're playing the, the video game and reading has gone very, very well. So I feel like maybe that scene came more from real introspection on the characters, which I probably wasn't having before in those scenes and also just being slightly more poetic about it right so I'm procrastinating now I think I'm gonna go back in and try and get another couple of sprints in I did originally plan for a small break in the middle of this time but I'll see how I get on with the writing sprints I might need it but I may also see if I can push through just a little bit today and then tomorrow I've also got the day off so tomorrow's a bit more of a relaxing day hopefully right let's do it you're going to see a massive lighting change because I've just closed the blinds and the window just to go for a cosy dark cave kind of vibe with the candles on um, and my light is turned slightly purple. <laughs> this this morning so it is coming up to 11 o'clock i have now done i have now done four sprints first one 18 minutes the next two were all 25 so we're a little bit over the 80 minutes i was aiming for for space pirates but we've got 4598 words done <laughs> which is insane the first one i was at like 44 words per minute and it was kind of dragging out a soul. Second one I got to 49 though. Third one I got to 43. And I thought, oh, I'm on my way out. I'll do the next 12 minutes because that's all I need to hit the 80 minutes. I'll stop the timer when I want to. I won't do the whole 25. Did the whole 25 and a 58 words per minute. <laughs> that's quite a rate considering I thought I was over it. The plan was always to have a half an hour break in the writing this morning. Now, I didn't do as much writing as I wanted to. I wanted by this point to have done, well, I wanted to have my break at 10, having done um, four sprints by that point, but we are now at 11. That's fine, just is what it is. I keep 
forgetting that I need to plan in more than just constant work time. There are some moments, particularly if I'm recording on that day, I never seem to remember that I've got to set this camera up and talk to it and update you guys, otherwise it just becomes a video of a couple of b-roll. We are on chapter 37 and without giving too much spoilering, <laughs> the gods are now in play which is always fun there's a whole pantheon in the kind of space fantasy world we're in and they are active participants in what goes on in the world but they are not omnipotent so they don't always know what's happening every moment they're like focusing on something else and um they've been called in a slightly different way there's been a call to action and they are going to potentially get involved now we have had ourselves a few wobbles in terms of the allyship she has with the people she's working with and she's done a few sort of selfish moments which is kind of her overall arc in this book is her from the very beginning being like i don't need anyone or if i do i'll need them for a transaction and then they can leave and i'll just go off and get this all sorted on my own in the last couple of chapters she's kind of internally going okay okay maybe maybe i could use people not use people but maybe i could make use of having people around me more often and maybe rather than having like a solid crew all the time maybe i just have like a few rotating allies or like a few people that come and join me for like a mission and then they go rather than like a, a piece of tech i need from them because in the beginning of the book the people that she meets essentially the agreement is that they will fix her ship and we're well beyond that point and they're still with her she's kind of wondering you know i could i could do extended periods of time with people eventually she will give in and <laughs> start building up her crew but for now it's kind of that realization of okay i wanted to do it all on my own and that might not be the preference that might cause me problems whereas actually these guys have been pretty helpful they've been pretty good <laughs> And there's been a couple of emotional moments between them as well, it's nice. And we are going to start building up to the proper finale now. So the next scene is essentially them being put in a position to start actively working towards the final conclusion. I don't know what I'm going to write after this break or, and I'm going to allow myself this space, if I'm going to manage to write again. So what sometimes happens on writing days is particularly when I have just drafted almost 5k words and I have to remind myself that's a lot. Sometimes I'll take a break and then I will not be able to get back to it. So I'm going to take half an hour. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. I probably should tidy or look at any of the other things I have on my list of stuff because we currently have a tent in our back garden. The last time we used a tent it was horrible weather and it got packed away um, possibly a little bit wetter than it should have been so we've got a event coming up in a couple of weeks where we need it so we've put it up in the garden to try and see if that will dry it out properly and make sure it's okay and i want to go in there and give it a bit of a clean that needs to get done at some point potentially but i don't think i fancy that right now i feel like i want to take an actual break we shall see um i have started a new audiobook in the last couple of days of called mexican gothic which i think was a big thing maybe like a year maybe more ago i saw it a lot on like book book talk and um booktube and stuff and then i just downloaded it and started listening to it so i might put a bit of that on later whether or not i get back to writing i will let you know whether i stick with space pirates or whether i move on to trying to look at my romance stuff i don't know the romance stuff is slightly easier to write mostly because it's like it's first person the world isn't particularly elaborate so the problem with the space pirates world i need to make sure that anything they're doing magic wise or culture wise fits with the wider world i've built and it's uh it's intense <laughs> there's a lot of moving parts in this universe slash empire thing that's going on but with the romance stuff it's kind of a lot more vague and they care a lot less about the outside world it's about what's happening to the characters and nothing else really that might be a way of writing but with a slightly easier mindset <laughs> i'm gonna go take that break and then we shall see what happens i'll try and let you know either way if even if i completely stop say screw it and not come back <laughs> But even if I don't, I mean, even if I'd only written one sprint, that is still something. I need to keep reminding myself that not hitting like 10k days regularly is not the end of the world. Let's go take a break, Nikki, and then we will see what we can do. time for this morning for writing i have done two more sprints since my break and they're both in space pirates 
I was fully expecting to need to transition to something else today, but it seems to have gone pretty well. I've done a total of 135 words for a total of 6,823 words. It is at the moment my highest word count day for the draft, because Campfire actually shows me like a little line graph I can do of the whole time I've been writing this book, and it is absolutely the highest day I've had, which is wonderful. We are in chapter 39, and that'll be quite a quick one. I think it's going to start speeding up. I don't think we're going to hit 120k. We have 12 more chapters to do. So currently my average per chapter is about 2.2k. So at the moment the average for the whole book has gone from about just over 120, like 124 last I checked or something, to 117k. So not massive jump, but it would make it quicker. I think those 12 chapters will speed through a bit more now. We're definitely in finale times. The groups of the people that I have have started to split off a bit and there's actual fighting happening and the things that you want a bit more in the space parts kind of book. I don't think I'm probably going to do any more writing today. Do let me know in the comments how you're feeling in February. If anyone did Januarymo or if you're still like me just like still getting through your NaNoWriMo book, how's it going? Have you started anything new? in February? Is anyone like starting a draft for the first time in February? Which would be really exciting. All that being said though, thank you so much for watching. I've been Nikki Star and I will see you in the next one.